Hello, I'm Jeffrey Graber, Chair of the Bethel College Alumni Association Awards Committee and a 2004 graduate of Bethel College. Each year, the Bethel College Alumni Association honors selected members with awards in three categories, the Young Alumnus Award, Distinguished Achievement Award, and the Outstanding Alumnus Award. The Young Alumnus Award recognizes character, citizenship, achievement, service rendered, and acknowledges recognition received. The recipient must be 39 years of age or younger. This year's Young Alumnus Award has been awarded to Todd Flory. Todd is a 2004 Bethel College graduate and will address the student body during a virtual convocation on October 5th. Todd's convo presentation will be available in the Bethel College YouTube channel after October 5th. The other two awardees will be recognized in this presentation. Our first award is the Distinguished Achievement Award. This award acknowledges character and citizenship, achievement in a chosen profession or vocation, and work of benefit to humanity. This year's honoree is Barry Heeb. Barry is being recognized for leadership and groundbreaking work in the field of medical informatics. Barry is a 1966 graduate of Bethel College. He is a medical doctor with a master's degree in computer science. During his career in medical computing, he helped create a simple and cost-effective way to enable error-free patient identification and enhance patient privacy. The Bethel College Alumni Association is pleased to honor Barry with the 2020 Distinguished Achievement Award. Hello, fellow threshers. This is Barry Heeb speaking to you from sunny Tucson, Arizona. I want to extend a hearty greeting to this year's students and faculty. It was a very pleasant surprise to learn earlier this year that I had been selected as the school's 2020 Distinguished Achievement alumnus. And I wanted to share just a few thoughts of appreciation concerning how I got here and what it might possibly mean for each one of you. I believe I received this award primarily because of a lifelong preoccupation with the possibility of creating a national healthcare identifier. Here's just a brief view of that pilgrimage. I started as a freshman at Bethel in 1962 and spent the first two years as a math major under the direction of Professor Arnold Wedel. As a junior, I switched to a pre-med major, and even though I never completely escaped Dr. Wedel's formulas, I dived into biology and physiology and chemistry and the like. Thanks to this excellent preparation, I was accepted into my first choice for medical school, Washington University in St. Louis. It was during a summer job following my freshman year at medical school that I was introduced to computers. But it was only during my senior year elective in biomedical computing that the, for the first time I began to consider what they might mean for the field of medicine. Despite that interest, I continued on with my chosen career of surgery, finishing an internship and one year of residency in general surgery. By that time, however, my curiosity got the best of me and I switched to another department with the job of running a computer system for a cardiac catheterization laboratory. After a couple of years, I was having too much fun to quit. So I went back to graduate school at Washington University and got a master's degree in computer science. My career in medical computing unfolded from that point. And several years later, I found myself working in the healthcare group at Digital Equipment Corporation. It was there, some 33 years ago, that I first envisioned the potential for a computer system that would support a national healthcare identifier. Over the ensuing decades, I was employed by a variety of companies doing medical computer automation, but I continued to pursue the possibility of a national healthcare identifier system that could make sure every patient was linked accurately to their complete medical record and could also use that same system to protect the privacy of their medical information. 
In 2008, I retired, but I immediately failed that retirement by forming a startup not-for-profit company dedicated to actually implementing a national healthcare identifier. I have continued to pursue that goal to the present day. We have created a system that is capable of supporting the entire United States healthcare system, and we are now actively working to see whether we can obtain support at the federal level. When I entered Bethel College, I would have declared you insane if you had described to me the life of changing goals and changing employment I have just described to you. Nonetheless, it has been an absolutely wonderful experience, and I hope that each one of you have the freedom to pursue a similar path as you follow the unexpected challenges life will give you. You cannot possibly know where life's opportunities will lead you. You cannot predict what joys and sorrows you will encounter. But you can be sure that if you pay attention, work hard, and never stop learning, Bethel College will give you a great foundation for whatever the future may bring. I wish each one of you the very best and God's continued blessing as you pursue your dreams. Our next award is the Outstanding Alumnus Award. This award recognizes character and citizenship, service to the church or community, and other outstanding achievements, honors, and recognition. This year's honoree is Doris Bartell. Doris is recognized for her contributions to meaningful progress on gender equality and prevention of gender-based violence. Doris is a 1984 graduate of Bethel College. After Bethel, she earned a Master's of Science in Nursing. During her career, she has worked as a nurse, a researcher, an administrator, and a consultant. She describes herself as a passionate advocate for women's and girls' rights, reproductive rights, and gender justice. Her recent projects focus on disability rights, immigrant justice, applied social change, and women-led conflict resolution efforts in Latin America. Together, the Alumni Association and Bethel College is pleased to honor Doris with the 2020 Outstanding Alumnus Award. Hi, I'm Doris Bartel. I graduated from Bethel in 1984 with dual degrees in Peace Studies and International Development. I feel very fortunate to have attended Bethel at a time when those two areas of study were still offered, <clears throat> both of which have had a strong influence on my life and my career. At the time, I'm guessing they were probably one of five colleges and universities in the nation that offered such coursework and majors. Bethel was ahead of the curve. I recall the many ways that Bethel emphasized social justice as a core part of the curriculum for all students. We were given the opportunity to develop world-class skills in critical thinking and analysis through the lens of social justice and liberation theology in many of our classes and convocation lectures and extracurricular activities. I give kudos and thanks to my professors who nurtured these skills and my passion for making a difference in the world. First, Fremont Regeer, who, with the great generosity of spirit, allowed me to take his senior seminar course in international development as an incoming freshman because it was the last time he was going to teach it. I have never worked harder in a class or learned as much. That class was the one that set me on a professional career in international development and gave me a much better preparation than many of the peers that I have met. He insisted on self-critique as well as systems critique, which was groundbreaking then and is still a radical notion in international development. Paul McKay, and Robert Kreider, who negotiated a semester-long internship for me in a refugee camp on the Honduras-El Salvador border in the early 1980s, when US military helicopters were dropping bombs on unarmed civilians trying to cross a river to safety. They showed trust in my ability to negotiate complex environments, for which I'm grateful. That humanitarian experience gave me a radical political education about the links between the United States' foreign aid and military policies, but also the incredible power 
of collective action of unarmed civilians to block the efforts of the U.S. foreign policies and military might and carve out a peaceful future for themselves. Since Bethel, I've worked in the field of international development and international public health with a focus on reproductive rights, both domestically and internationally, for more than 20 years. There's a clear line of sight between the values, principles, and innovative practices towards peace and justice that I learned at Bethel and those that I use in my professional life. All these years I've applied those same principles and values to support local groups of poor people all over the world. My main job, one that I'm proudest of, has been to apply those innovative practices in group education settings to build critical thinking skills about systems of oppression. For the past decade, I've worked, to, uh, worked with women and girls and men and boys to figure out how sexism and gender discrimination is affecting them and what to do about it. My goal is for them to apply those same skills of self-critique and systems critique that Fremont taught us using a Frarian radical political analysis to their situation, and then develop their own plans for collective action and how to make change, much like I learned in my peace studies courses and in Honduras. I don't have enough time in this short video to explain the many, many signs of hope that I've seen. There are hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands of positive changes that have happened where people who are disempowered by systems of oppression are making a difference for themselves and for others. You can contact me if you want to hear any of these stories. It will give you some hope. Today, I'm an independent consultant, which allows me to bring together philanthropic donors and movement activists all over the world. Together, we're figuring out better ways to fund and support the grassroots social change work that's making a, the world a better place. I'm grateful to Bethel for setting me on this path and only wish that the students at Bethel today had the same opportunities for some of the most cutting edge and valuable coursework that I was privileged to take in those two non-traditional majors. I'm humbled and grateful for the Outstanding Alumnus Award this year. Thank you for the honor. Congratulations to our award winners. You have made Bethel College proud.